Thank you so much. We got you celebrating for a second, and then you fell asleep. That happens to me all the time. We died off a little bit. I need a little more caffeine. Right. Well, has anybody told you, you've got a beautiful voice? <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank Keep you. up with the singing. Welcome <laughs> to the lounge, my man. Thank you so much for having me. And last night at Mississippi Studios, the show, good? Oh, it was Portland? awesome, man. Oh, no. It was Sold out shows, right? Portland's loving you. Portland's loving it, yeah. Thanks to you. <laughs> We're trying. Now, every time I do play you on the radio, am I able to say uh, our very own because you are from the Northwest? Yeah, dude. Can we? Totally. Or is it close enough? Course. Well, you know, it's because Seattle, I, I'm, I live in Seattle, so they kind of claim me a little bit, but I'm not really from Seattle. I'm from a little small town in eastern Washington, you know? So I'm kind of a little, I'm a Northwest nomad, right? Mm -hmm. Trevor's from Walla Walla, so. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's all this is. Northwest, yes. And my in-laws, they actually graduated Walla Walla back in the 50s, brother. Oh, is that right? Yeah. yeah. That's when I graduated, too, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Probably no idea. Your parents are. Now, you did, let's talk a little bit about home, because I, I've seen your itinerary, man, and from tomorrow night until, like, the holidays, I think you've got three days off. You are definitely yeah. busy. So. Don't remind me, brother. Oh, man. No, so the kidding. holidays got to be big for you. Get back home, and after doing this nice little whirlwind tour. Yeah, we'll get back home. I mean, you know, for me, I've been on the road for the last, like, basically two and a half years and so the home this is home you know like coming and meeting new people every day and singing and and hotel rooms and um venues that's home now but uh it's good to get back to you know my family and, and the roots and you know where i came from because sure. you say small town that was like mayberry right yeah right yeah, totally <laughs> totally how do you pronounce that Chihuahua? it's called chawila chawila so but you are a chawilan chawilian yeah chawilian. Maybe. i'm I not don't, even gonna try that man. you know it really doesn't matter how you pronounce it because there's only like 1,100 people that know about Chuila, and those are the residents of Chuila. So you could say really whatever you want, and everybody'd be like, "Sure, sure." So it has really been a whirlwind two years for you, right? It's so been crazy, yeah. What's the recipe? I mean, most 25-year-olds I know working at the mall and just loving a Cinderella story like this to happen in their lives. So what was your recipe to get out of a small town like that? That doesn't have clubs. You weren't busking on the streets of Chihuahua, right? Right, no, no. I, uh, I moved to Seattle when I was 19, and that's when the busking came in. <laughs> no, not too much busking, but a lot of um, coffee shops, a lot of uh, college cafeterias, basically any place I could get a gig. Um, and then that kind of progressed and led to... Uh, bigger gigs and bigger uh, opportunities and um yeah and we released my but the record that you guys are now playing uh i released independently when october of 2011 and it took off by the grace of the universe <laughs> and uh um that kind of just snowballed into conan and live from daryl's and house conan and i found out off the internet's that uh, you actually got from somebody checking out one of your YouTube videos, right? Yeah, well, we had, t totally, yeah, we had done um, a video in my mom's living room of a song called Unaware for Kimmel. We had been trying to audition for our Kimmel, and uh, they were waiting on it, and so we're like, you know, we're going to toss it to Conan. They gave us a date within, like, two weeks of seeing the video, and uh, and that was that was, like, the the pivot point that went from like okay nobody knowing about me to some people knowing about me and then it's still you know we're still growing it's still grassroots and we've planted that seed but uh it's it's moving in the right direction i, I, I would think that yeah. during the last two years there would be a, a an amazing plethora of oh my goodness what are we doing here moments like dave matthews and the gorge and how many friends and family did you have there i mean coming to see you well, that's kind of like a hometown gig right yeah it was funny i'm like it was basically like a high school reunion going and playing at the gorge <laughs> Which isn't bits like forty people, <laughs> um, but they made a big sign and like they camped out and they was bonkers. It was it was uh, it was um, quite the party for sure. Yeah. Well, we appreciate the music. We appreciate the vibe. You've got this. Like it's been about a year out. So do you have a bunch of music that's just kind of waiting in the wings? that's ready to go. Yeah, totally. I mean, I've got a million and a half ideas. Um, it's the road is you know my schedule is pretty rigorous and so. Um, finishing songs and actually making them songs is different but i've got a million ideas so once we're able to hop in that studio and have some time to breathe those will those will blossom well your music brings quite a bit to the station we appreciate oh, thank you for you, brother. that thank All you right. so, so much, uh, continued success my man once again tonight at mississippi studios but with us this afternoon in the bing lounge alan stone awesome thank you